in his sight. Today I must tell you because you're a winner in all circumstances you deserve to be here today. Amen. Losers don't come at Power of God ministry. So we're all winners. And we're aiming higher and higher to the presence of the most high God. We're pulling together a luxurious barbershop and spa right here. One of the most huge and luxurious salon you'll see in Manchester. So we are getting all the equipment that we can. So you can get your, your hair cut as a male. Female, you can get your hair done. Jerry Curls, Kane Roo. Mommy clothes, Papi clothes, all different types. <laughs> and we also will have some special people that will do your nails for you. They call them the pedicure and the manicure and puppy cure. And also some special person to put on your two balcony. Hey. So you live luxurious, in style, fully AC. So when someone done you here, you don't have to sit down and they stay one mile spraying alcohol in your face, in up all in your eyes sometime. After you trim me here as a man, they will lay you down up, up the stream and they bust bump out of your face and pick out all those. Pick out all those tree that grow in your face. Am I right? Yes. And the same thing go for the pretty ladies. So it will be a dream come true, the experience to remember. 
And please remember everything we do, them are trying to do it too. But most of the things that we do, they can do it. But they can only try. But we're not in no competition with no one at all. Because no one can compete with property. The step of a great man is only ordained by the Most High God. So when a great man speak, and you don't see it in the Bible, he's not ordered by the voice of a man. When a great man speak, he speak out of the mouth of the divine. Yes. And the words that he speak is words that you will never hear before in your life. So all of these that we read is common, isn't it? Yes. Because before we're born, mama, mama, mama born, they know it, everybody know it. Yes. Psalms 51, Psalms 23, everybody know it. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten, everybody know it. Yes. So we're not gonna speak what they know. No. We want to speak what they should know. So when the prophet of God arrives, you must open your mindset, your thought, your imagination to receive and comprehend things that you have never heard or seen before. <laughs> the words of God is not carnal, but is mighty true Christ. Amen. Awesome, sovereign, absolute. Infinite, all powerful, everlasting show. Look at all of you today. You are all inclusive power. If all of your mindset, all of your thoughts, all of your imagination, all of your favor come and combine together, nothing in this earth overpower you. Yeah. Where one, two, or three gathered in my name, says Almighty God, and agree with the mindset and the thoughts and imagination, they can move mountains. Very important that everyone around your surrounding agree with you. Yes. Disagreeing is failure. Disagreeing is setback. Disagreeing is a curse. Nothing that dangerous than when the wife disagree with the husband and the husband disagree with the wife and the church member disagree with the pastor. When you disagree in one accord, you're stopping the flow of prosperity. So don't make no step forward until all of you is in one. When bad things happen, they start to pull out and say, me they tell you. <laughs> but when in one agreement, one aim, one vision, if anything happens, the both of will fight and defend it together. <laughs> Defend it to the end, defend it to the T. I used to have some pass in the church. I 
and they used to love the church. But when they hear people start talk bad things about Prophet Roe, they didn't stop coming. Then I want their name to mix up. It's very dangerous when people who you know will stand by your side. People who you know know so you're innocent of certain things. Those are the people who will first run left you. Because they don't want a name to call. Did I tell you I'm married twice? When I get married, I married in my car, my brown car, on the toll road. I sent a paper. And a couple of weeks after, the pastor saw here, people call me name bad. Prophet Obel Walker, Marish Craft Walker. He refused for his name to mix up, saying, say, now, enter documents now, system. Afraid because I want people to say he married the other man. So I have to go married over again. We shouldn't have you. No one ever talked to anybody about you. I was a black, ugly boy, you know that? When I appeared from country, I was very dark and black. Black like tar. And I realized when people start talk things about me, me look like me a bleach. Yeah. And I was wondering why every time there's a something about me, me put on weight and me look more brown. <laughs> So I realize now that for a prophet of God to prosper, someone has something bad about him. Yeah. Every time people stop talk about me, me get maga. <laughs> and the more they start to talk about me and put me up on TikTok and YouTube, me belly start to grow, put on more flesh. So now I realize that the favor of a prophet is in the mouth of the wicked. So out of the great mess that they put me in, God put me in greatness. So let them talk, let them bark. The greater the battle, the sweeter the victory. Stay focused, stay positive, be strong, and be righteous in Christ, and the power of God will never fail you, but will see you true straight to the end. I see people cost my grandpa about his ground. And the leg of the goat let the goat eat, eat down my grandpa ground and they cost him money going with him antics. And the more goat eat down my grandpa ground is the more the yam them beer bigger. And I used to wonder why. Every negative words that the enemy speak against you, yeah. God double your favor. Yeah. If you want to see your shop start to flourish, let people start talking bad about you. Yeah. The power of God shall raise you up and you shall fly like an eagle and soar straight to the top. Never look back. Never look back. No surrender. No retreat. But you shall spread.
spread your wings. And most of you today want to spread your wings. So wherever you go in life, you must always remember one thing. God have never failed you. And if God have never failed you, you're not supposed to fail him. Amen. Look at me, all of you. Said, I am, I am strong. I am great. I am, great. I am mighty true Christ. Awesome. I am awesome. I am peculiar. I am, I am wonderfully made. I, wonderfully I have good health and long life. I have, I have peace, joy, peace. and happiness. Peace. My Savior is always with me. Always Goodness, with me. Mercy, mercy, greatness, greatness. success, success. Riches. riches will never stop following me stop for the rest of my life. Of my life. Watch, the Watch the power of God work upon me, upon me. Victorious. victorious. My household, my, my generation shall be blessed. My, my God shall protect my going out. My God shall protect my coming in. Shall protect all my endeavors, and I shall be great in the presence of the most high God. So shall it be. Look at me, I am beautiful, I am pretty, I am awesome, I am wonderful. Look at me. Wonderful. I am wonderful. I am perfectly made. Look how pretty I am. I am putting on muscle. I am putting on weight. There is no one like me. No one can compare to me. It's only the one me upon this earth. I shall never stop prospering. So help. God. Clap. Every morning you wake up, you charge up your house with these words. You walk in the bathroom and you speak to the entertain the spirit of God in this bathroom. I talk to my face basin as a face basin. My face was anointed by the living God. Beware of the spirit who wash face in this face basin. I walk in my kitchen. I say, kitchen, you will be careful of the food that you cook for me to eat. This is the belly of the living God. You make sure you cook good, healthy food for me to eat. Open my fridge and I speak to the fridge. I say, fridge, make sure you have carrot juice, pumpkin juice, mango juice, okra juice, sour sap juice. Make sure when you come back, you're full. I walk in my bedroom and I talk to the bed. I say, bed. I am the body of the living God. I speak to the pillar, say, pillar, be careful of the head that you lay upon this pillar. Make sure this bed and this pillar only accept the presence of the most high children. And you walk in your dining room and walk to your city and you speak 
You walk outside and you speak to a driveway. Is a driveway? Only accept luxury vehicle in this place. <laughs> Only car park in this driveway must be mine, wife, husband, children, or a family member. <laughs> you walk to your fence and you speak to the fence. Fence, be careful of uncircumcised Philistines that fling things over here. You make sure nobody no fling down over here. Yes. I walk to the gate and I speak to the gate. The gate. Only person who you let in this gate is person who ordained by the true and living God. Yes. Sometimes you want answers to your gate. Make it answers to you. But sometimes some crosses people come again, tap their hands and make it bite them up. Make the answer stay get. Are you secure to get that? You with me, somebody? Somebody have one dog and you chin up a dog all week. Hmm? Make a dog run up and down. Make him bark. He must see something back at her. You with me, somebody? Right now, as I'm speaking, some of your life take time to crawl out of poverty. And most of you know, see your life will come out little by little. When you see your life start come out of poverty, the devil will attack. You have to look out, you have to be aware, and you have to cautious. Or else you go back right where you're coming from. You go back right where you're coming from. This lady, her mother died and leave a four bedroom house. Her name alone is Pine Tycle. Boyfriend, I tell her to sell the house and start business. What a crisis, man. man. So when she sell the one house now, her kids them have to live in a rent house. She have to live in a rent house. I ain't not married to her yet. Why? He more mark at the base for jive. So since he want mark at the base for jive, I tell him, I tell her to go home. And tell him the prophet rose to him to apply to Mr. Holness for a donkey. Yeah. Only one thing different about the donkey. The mark of the beast have four wheel, but the donkey have four foot. So he tell her, say, wicked me, wicked. And her face in my face. She said, from Prophet Ro, born Prophet Ro, wicked. That's why I think you can't touch him. Her two sons and one daughter now have to go rent place because her house I got sick. What a wicked man. Be careful when God start crawling out of poverty and push you up. The enemy sends someone to draw you back. 
you have no rent to be paid. All you have is a little light bill and your little water bill. You can buy one pound of flour and half pound of cornmeal, cook some flour and tin mackerel and live. The landlord can knock you. Want to put her in gated community, gated. And a big old land you can plant ground. Hmm? Leave your, your, your mother big old land for plant ground and go and live in a gated. Where you can't even touch a fence too hard. Them say you'll cover their yard. Let me tell you something, my people. If you check these Chinese who come to Jamaica, they don't sell property. China do not sell property. Why a black man loves salsa? The children, children come and inherit it. Why you love salsa? So what I realize most of these people born to sell a market and children can't sell a market now. They want to sell a yard. Right. If Shaver bring all him to me, no. me tell him which part of back road for sell him. And if you want the express, go to New Kingston. Nothing that dangerous when you're talking to someone and they said, I'm, I'm going to listen to what my fancy said first. Where will you come from? You have to go here with him, say. I am going to tell you. So you not grow up. Whatever he said, I have to obey. He's the house, he's the head of the house. So, so I tell you, I have found your head. Let me tell you something, my people. God don't make his people without head. And if you talk, you never talk to. If your voice loud, my voice will go loud too. And louder. I my voice can't load down your word, me get a mic and a speaker box. I want all of you stop focus today. Focus on tomorrow. Focus on if something happened to you, what happened to your children then. That's how you think. Think generational. Think family wise. If me buck me to it today, I may take sick and the sickness is permanent. What will happen to me? If the sickness is permanent, at least you have somewhere to live, no rent to be paid. It's more easy for your kids them to take care of you. But when you don't have nowhere to live, and you sell one little property where you have, rent house are going to kill you, and the kids them are going under pressure for parents to take care of you. They might get fed up one day and put in their homes. One thing they can say, Mama sick, yes, but a fair house. You with me, somebody? Do not let the enemy rob you of your joy. Do not let the enemy defeat you of your purpose.
when they just enter Manchester, every pastor said, wow, it is good for a young prophet trying to do the Lord's work and they just love me upon because I just have a couple of people in the church and they say young prophet is doing the Lord's work. In two months the church pack them sort of wicked prophet. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yes, we are here for 14 years and for the church in a pocket and him just a come. And church pack. And church pack. And church pack. Yes. And <laughs> and at them, you used to say, me a good prophet, you know? I used to come back, me a little bit, you So this is how the enemy works. Once you're down, you're the best ever. But once you're climbing the ladder, you're the worst person that walked the earth. I experienced some things in ministry that if I wasn't tough, I run left one. I remember I take off eight gathering. I believe it was a it was a chooser. I believe it was a chooser. And the Wednesday morning I come to church is two green lizards could meet me right at the door. Two of the biggest green lizards. I have never known a grill that can talk. And I drink a man turn up right over next door. I watch the movements. Say my obey man. So after I take all the key, I come out of my van and I take all the key. Grill is at them turn around and I look them up, open up their mouth. They just walk past and step on one of them. And pull me door. Say man, I wonder, I wish man this. Tepani, in the man, them, and not even a chamber. Pull the door, take out the broom, and go there, so no move. The next day, you two grills that come right there, so. My mommy killed them. And then come right after. You remember the day? And then they the hear for almost a month. Every day me come. Every Sunday would they preach, them they write us. Till one day when they say again. <laughs> if you look on YouTube, the long service them. You can see one of them. On the video. Right there, sir. No leave. Months. And they try, and try, and try, and we're still there. More than 16 church clothes start before me, some start after me, and locked down in Manchester. And my church still are going to see me. So all who think they can be a man of God, if you're not tough up your soul, don't chance it. Even one of them who used to lick out, lick out on this church, him leave him church, gonna want to see yard up on Patrick. Say my car so demon, a demon kill him right from Vernon up there. Right on Patrick. Right from Vernon. And the next, the next pastor left him. Right up there. Don't anoint it for this. Don't take it up. Leave it alone. You see, sometimes you see prophet come to church and hear prophet say, the deliverance anointing not flowing. That means we now push nothing. If it's not flowing, it does not flow. The prophetic anointing not flowing. Don't push nothing. You push it, you get yourself in danger. Spirit will lick you down. If it's not flowing, 
leave it alone. Very important. But them, every time they hold a the mic, they want to rub a shatter and push young people. You want to lick them down? They will get hurt. They will get hurt. When you see a man, say, my mother got in love, push you down. I cross my foot on your chin. You go on with that headache, or that choke ache, or your eye problems start taking you. Let God be God in your life. And if God be God, no weapon that form against you shall prosper. Until today. We are the head. We are above. We are the child. The living God. So today I must tell you, put God at the ultimate and let God cut the way forward for all of you. Said, so I am blessed and highly favored. I am great. I am wonderful. I am awesome through the eye that I am. Thank you.